Which media on our screens are the culprits for creating physical and emotional barriers between developing human connection? Most significantly, social media. These are the platforms that most time is dedicated to. In fact, so much time that we barely have any left for real conversations or meaningful experiences. Applications such as Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram build this visible barrier in communicative skills. We are dependent on these media for updates, entertainment, and sharing. Now teenagers care more for, about scrolling through Instagram instead of actually asking others about updates in their lives. Constant, obsessive messaging also consumes valuable time that can be spent with others. FaceTime is no longer looking someone in the eye and feeling his or her emotions. Rather, it means talking to someone through a video. Consumers observe and model what they see. In the movie Her, which is discussed in the class blog, we are able to envision a society where one can avoid human connection so greatly that it is possible he or she even fall in love with technology. There is no need for sit-down dinner dates or family game nights. Now, teenagers and young adults would rather hang out with Netflix. I mean, hang out with their loved ones and watch Netflix together. The social media, digital communication devices, and entertainment media are numerous. Definitely, social media not only continues to make the most significant advances, they are always being renewed so that consumers never get bored and never risk having to actually connect with humans without their applications as a vessel. As a result, these are the media platforms that may cause the most damage on one's desire and ability to love others. Truly, as we will learn in the next video, teenagers and young adults are fostering a society that has learned to coexist in a way that we are alone together because young consumers prefer to place their trust in a media device rather than risk anything with a human.